doing some U joints and ball joints and wheel bearings for a guy here. And I had a heck of a time getting these out of there. They were, you know, just seized and broken and all sorts. Now these are 10 factory axles. They use these clips around them. And uh, they're supposedly 43, 40 chrome. I actually have a set of these in my ZJ. But the problem was I had two on one side that just blew out. And I wasn't really sure what was going on there. The rest more or less came out. I already got the other one all put together, but I had a major uh, trouble culty with this one. I ended up having to grind down the, the star here to get it to come out. So what I was able to determine was that the ears were bent way in. I don't know what caused it or what the deal there was, but I think that was the, uh, the symptom. So normally the ears are about, was that, uh two two hundred apart and this one was two one sixty so the uh ears were bent in about forty or fifty thousand so uh it's one of those deals where i'm going on vacation here in a couple days i'm gonna be gone for a week and this was the last job of the month I'm trying to help this guy out he's going on a wheeling trip so i don't have the time to order another stub shaft i mean i could overnight it but it's you know this car has to go out today so uh this is what i came up with i used an old axle nut and a spacer from a press kit to kind of spread out the load there and then use the uh, the press to kind of put some some force on there so see what we got now uh we're closer but looks like we need one more need to go about another twenty thousandths so we got 2220 here. And it's getting tighter, getting tighter. So it looks like it's just on the outside. So, you know, I mean, the correct way to fix this is to replace it. Yeah, I, I get it. I understand that. But we don't have time for that right now. So this is going to have to go out the door like this. And uh, we're going to order another set to replace us with. Um, you know, it's. Uh, it's just one of those deals where sometimes you just got to figure out how to solve problems with what you got here. You don't have time to just order stuff. I already know somebody's not even going to watch the whole video and be like, You're an idiot! You're supposed to do it right the first time! Yeah, well, I understand that, but this is a wheeler, and this sort of stuff happens when you have off-road vehicles. Some people actually use their off-road vehicles for off-road and not just princess, princess of the pavement. So sometimes you have to take some and give some at the same time. And this is one of those situations where you got to do what you got to do.